Lovely. Thank you. Good morning, Jonathan. Obviously, a tough week. How are you all doing? Good. Well, like you said, it was a tough week. It's been um, one of them things that football throws at you, but the lads have dealt with it quite well in the dressing room and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Did you fear the worst after Tuesday's game that a change might be coming? You could always sense it, but we never know as footballers. At the end of the day, we've got to get on with our jobs and it's it's down to the club to, to make any decision what they think is uh, best for the club going forward. Difficult for you as players, though, you know, another change on what's already been a very difficult season. How do you kind of get your heads around preparing for a match, but also that uncertainty back again? Yeah, it's difficult, but um, the cha- with Narcisse, he's been here a long time, so the lads know what he's about, what what he could bring to the team, and um, we we can't dwell on it too long because we we know we've got a, a, a massive massive game coming up Saturday. So if you dwell on who's coming in, who's going out, and stuff like that, it just takes a focus off the game, and I think we can't afford to do that. Just to reflect on Tuesday night, it it was a crazy game of football. Did you? feel the same way that we as watchers felt that it was there for the taking and now why do you think you weren't able to get the three points on Tuesday night? It was definitely there for the taking Um, we shot ourselves in the foot to be honest Um, I took a few days to get my head around it in that game but uh, very frustrating to to not comfortably win the game to be honest with you but one of them things it's, it's football and listen if we don't move on quicker then we're um, then from that game, we need to make sure that all our attention now is on on uh, Wigan Saturday, and we know that's another cup final for us, and we need to get three points. Mark Fotheringham made no secret of the fact when he spoke to us after the Blackpool game that there'd been angry exchanges, which you would expect given the circumstances of that. It's not almost as club captain what you want to see that people care when it's not going right. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was. I reckon if there was a fly in the wall, we'd find it quite entertaining. And that what happened in the dressing room after the game. But it was uh, no, there was a lot of passion there. There was a lot. Of, there was there was word, words exchanged, um, passion, um, fight, commitment, which we all know we have. And um, it, it's actually quite nice to see that you look around the dressing room, the lads do care that it's a, it's a game that we threw away, and um, we need to we need a reaction and ready to bounce back. You know, I don't expect you to give away too much, but, you know, is it sort of players calling each other out for not doing their job? Mark Fotheringham having his say, you know, give us a bit of a flavour of what goes on under those kind of circumstances. It was it was arguments, um, debates, anger. And um, like I said, it's what... It, you're not pointing a finger at one person. You can't point the finger. At, it's it's a group. It's it's collective. And uh, when you're shouting and screaming or whatever you're doing, you're not just aiming at one person. It, we, we know the group that was on that field should have finished that game with three points. And at the end of the day, we didn't. So there's going to be angry exchanges. And yeah, that's what happened. The championship is an absolutely unforgiving league. And so many managerial changes have already happened this season. Why do you think it, it didn't work out for Mark Fotheringham, a man who was so clearly desperate to make an impression and to turn the turn the fortunes of the season around? He he, he, he was. He, he really did want to do well for the club and uh, it's a shame it didn't work out because he worked hard tirelessly and tirelessly. He, he put he put the work in. You can't say he didn't. Um, the additions that we've made in January would have definitely helped him and helped the club because I think we've brought some real quality in. It's just maybe he hasn't had the time to work with, with them players. So it's it's one of them things. Football doesn't wait for any any person, whether they're ready or not, or whether they get time or not. It's it's a result business and we need to uh, make sure we get the results or people will be in trouble. Is it one of those that it's just, you know, you want to give somebody an opportunity, but equally, as I say, the championship is an unforgiving league and it just shows that experience is so vital when it, when it comes to taking a club forward. Yeah, you need experience. We all know that. Um, the most experienced managers normally do the best, but um, young, young managers also come and get a chance. And I think that uh, it just it just didn't work out. It's one of the things. It's football. Like, Mark, Mark could probably, or I hope he does go on and have a successful manager career but it's one of them things it didn't work out here it doesn't mean it's going to work out anywhere else for him 
you know, when you kind of look at it from a playing point of view, does it kind of make, give you second thoughts about whether you would ever want to go down the managerial route or not? I've never really thought that far, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it looks from the outside, well, not from the outside looking in, but not being sat in one of their, their seats as, as a manager just um, looks a very stressful job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, looking ahead to Wigan then, and bear with me, my little one is in the background and clearly wants to ask you some questions as well. So yeah. apologies for that. Um, it is, it's a massive game against Wigan now on Saturday. How do you get your head in the right place for that? How do you prepare you know, just to make sure that you get this one over the line? Well, our, our heads are definitely in the right position, um, the right frame of mind. We know what we have to do. We know the consequences of it. It's 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 basically a cup final. We need we need three points. I think Wigan are on the same um same page. They need three points, so it should be an entertaining game. And um we know we have to show a lot of fight and a lot of character on the pitch um Saturday and hopefully the points come on with us. And what messages are you getting from Narcissus so far? Again, obviously he's only got a couple of days to kind of get his ideas in, in place, but what's the message coming from him at the moment? Um we had a meeting, well, a couple of meetings yesterday with him and he's gonna He's put his style across how he wants to do things on and off the ball when we've got it, when we haven't in attacking half, in defensive half. So we're, we're all on the same page. We know what we've got to do. Um, just, I think more than anything, any tactics or anything, just make sure that we show the character and the desire that the fans want to see, that if you look around you on the pitch, your teammates want to see. And um, we've got to all lead by example and make sure we give 110%. I will go and sort out my small child. Thank you, Jonathan. Much appreciated. Cheers, Thank Catherine. You. Thank you. Uh, we'll come to Stephen in the room next, please. No. Hi, Huggy. Hi. You've, a particular issue lately has been the late goals, like you've conceded against Blackpool, and, and since the turn of the new year, really. What what do you put that down to, and uh, as an individual or a group of players? It's it's hard to put a finger on it because anyone could score in any second of any game. Do you know what I mean? But it's just one of them things that's it's been killing us. The league could look so much different. We've conceded so many late goals, and it's cost us a lot of points. It could be five, six points better off than where we are now, which. I'd done to the amount that we've got, we'd be in a lot better position in the league table. So concentration, I don't know. Is it is it fitness? Is it confidence? I, it's hard to put a finger on it, but if it, it needs to be sorted sooner rather than later. And um, it's just one of them things. Game management's massive, especially when you're winning. Teams put a lot of pressure on the last couple of minutes. So you need to stand up and be counterforming men and make sure you give it all. But it's just one of them things that hasn't happened for us yet. What are some of the other things you think need to improve besides that sort of game management? Um, it's a tough one, I know. <laughs> it's, it, we need to score more goals. We need to keep more clean sheets. It's basics in football, really. We need to keep good possession. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think confidence is a massive part of, of where we are at the minute. I think confidence might be a bit low. Like you say, you see teams when they're playing with confidence, they they go and score three or four goals, and it hasn't happened for us this year. So we need to uh, keep going, roll roll your sleeves up, because if if you, if you feel sorry for yourself and sit in the corner, you, it's not going to help anyone. So we need to know that we need to roll our sleeves up and be ready to fight. Remember when we spoke to Narciss when he was last sort of had that game against Cardiff? He was very spirited. Um, is he the kind of coach, the kind of caretaker coach who can get that lift out of you, try and raise your confidence in a short span like that? I think he can. I do really think he can. He's, his meetings have been positive, upbeat. Uh, seems to be trying to give the lads as much confidence as, as we can, as he can, to be honest. And uh, he set a game plan. We'll, we'll stick to that. We'll work on it today as well. So we know what we've got to do Saturday. And I think Nasi will be uh, hopefully take, the, take that step in the right direction and try and get us more points like you did against Cardiff. Do you feel like you had clear enough game plans under under Mark? Well, it's we had game plans, but whether they're the right, whether they're the wrong, we don't know. Like like I said, we were so close from getting so more like take hold for instance, we were last kick of the game, it could have been another two points. Uh Blackpool the other day could have been another two points. Looting at home if you held on to a point could have been another point. Um 
fine margins. If we got them five points, Mark could still be you now. So it's 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 one of them things. It's it's football is a game of fine margins. So sometimes you get the look, sometimes you don't. What do you think the club needs for their next head coach? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's it's down to the club to to put in what they thinks right to move this club forward. Um, it's Nice Easter man. We don't know. He might go and win five and a bounce, and he gets the job. You don't know. Football's um, it's crazy, and um, Nasi's take it game by game. But if he gets the points on the board, why would you change it? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, <clears throat> you didn't play under Nasi last time. I don't think. I think that's the start of your injury. So, what differences have you seen in the way that Nasi has approached this game compared with how Mark might have done it, or how Danny might have done it earlier this season, how Carlos might have done it? Well, we've only had one or two meetings with him, so it's hard to say oh, he's going to do this or he's doing that different to, to what the other managers have done. But he's, he brings his own personality across. It's different to what Mark and Danny were, so it's it's a it's a new voice for the dressing room for the for the players involved. So it's we'll see how it goes. Appreciate it. it's a tough time for you. Obviously, the fans are, are feeling it as well. What would you say to the fans at a, a time like this? They've got to, they've got to stay with us because we know it's it's all well and good when when you're winning every week. For everyone to be on board, but when 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 your back's against the wall, we need we need as many fighters and as many people on board as we can. So please just just stick with us and uh, help the lads bear with us. But we can guarantee that we'll give all the fight we've got and give you 110 percent on the pitch. That's all for me. Thanks. Best luck tomorrow. Cheers. Steve, Leon, we'll come to you next, please. Uh, hiya, Jonathan. You okay? Yeah, good. Yeah, you must think what well, you've been here ten years. It's never been. Boring mid-table, has it? It's always been sort of... You must sort of scratch your head sometimes. It's always been fe feast or famine almost, hasn't it? Yeah. I, we had a conversation last week and I, I was saying, like, <clears throat> after the season last year, it's going to be a good two or three seasons now before we're yeah. fighting relegation and stuff and let's keep fighting for promotion. Yeah. And all of a sudden, next season, fight relegation, fight again. So it's, it's entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you that. It's not... It's yeah, that the terriers you have a going for promotion or you fight relegation, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's enjoyable, it's good. I mean, you've always, I think you said last year just before the playoff final, this club's always about it's all about fighting, and this is this is a different sort of fight, isn't it? Obviously, to, to last season, it could be the biggest fight that you've had in your 10 years at the club almost, isn't it? I mean, it's you don't get a prize at the end of it, but it but it's gonna be huge, isn't it? What oh, there's a prize at the end of it, all right, yeah, in this league. From where, from where we've been, what we've happened up and downs this year, um, stay in the league. That's a that's a big enough prize for me, and probably most of the lads in the dressing room and the club. So it's um it's all to fight for. We're not dead and buried yet, and there's a still yeah. a lot of points to be collected, uh, a lot of games to be played, and we'll we'll show fight and we'll show character, and I'm have everything crossed, and I'm confident that we'll pull for it. And you've got to obviously there's collective motivation, but there's personal as well. You've been here ten years. You don't want to be. A league one, uh, you know, a league one player in, in you know, middle middle of May. That's got to that's got to motivate you as it's got to motivate everybody else, hasn't it? Yeah, that's the last thing this club wants. I want all the lads in the dressing room want. We know how hard it is to uh, to be in League One. You see clubs go down there and they struggle to get back up. So we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems to be looking at the result that. The spirit sort of clearly there. It's not. It's not like you get a relegation, a side in relegation bother when they're getting beat three 0 four 0 You know, you've you've been in games, you've been there to win them, and the, the spirit certainly isn't an issue. Yeah, we've been in. You, you look back through the last two or three months, we've been in every game, lost maybe by one goal. Um, so we we're not far away. We're just getting. Um, we're on that side of the bad luck at the minute, and things. Haven't been falling for us and going against us a bit, but we need to. I'm a big believer of you, your own luck is is yeah by all the hard work that you put in. So we know we've been working hard and that it'll turn. I know it will. I know for um, I'm confident that the luck will turn and it'll come on our side. You just need to keep it simple as well. There's clarity, really, isn't it? Really, everyone knows the position you're in. You don't need to overcomplicate it. You know, it, it, it it's, it's simple, really, isn't it? Yeah, just the football is simple. Work hard. Be together, be, get that group, galvanise each other, and yeah. um, stay on the same path and for all fighting the that same direction. Yeah, I was going to ask you finally. I mean, I, I was at the game on Tuesday, and, and and Blackpool. It was, it went against them, but all the fans were together. They were all creating a really strong atmosphere. It was like the club was was one, and 
I suppose that's something you've got to do now, isn't it? In the in the next two months, everyone, the fans, you know, Billy T, lady, the players, yeah. you've we, all just got to have a siege mentality, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We've got to stick together. That's number one. We've been a family for well since I've been here for ten years. So yeah. we're not, you can't just fall out because you're not having a good time. You, yeah, uh, you've got to stick together and, and pull through it. Then at the end, when we when we when we get surf, we can always uh, look at each other and think, look, I give everything yeah. the cause. Yeah. Do you relish these sort of situations in a funny sort of way? Oh, yeah, I'd rather be in something fighting, knowing yeah. that every game means something than playing playing mid-table and means nothing. Well, I wouldn't say nothing, but no, we know that every win now is, is so important for us and it's we've got 17 cup finals left and let's yeah. go and see how many we can win. We're all wishing you well, Johnny, and all the best, Saturday. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, mate. Top Cheers, Leon. Thanks for Chris Docks. Hi, Jonathan. You all right, mate? Um... I suppose it's fair to say that the fans had maybe lost, some of the fans had lost faith in what Mark was trying to do. Were the players still behind what he was trying to do? Yeah, we were. We were. If we Listen, there's not one person there who's lacked ambition and didn't give him everything because we did. And um, as players, we wouldn't allow someone to be half-hearted, uh, not trying your hardest. That's, that's non-negotiable in that dressing room. And um, it's one of them things, if 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 you're not doing well, results aren't going well. It's easy for ter- uh, the the fans to turn on on the manager, and um, it's one of them things. If if it's if you're not winning games, it's how do you, how do you keep them on side? Um, results are a massive massive part of this business, and we they haven't been going as well as we'd all hope. So, you've got experience of managers coming and going um, during the season and pre-season. How uh, you know they talk about a new manager bounce or a fresh start. Is that a thing? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Um, when when um, Mark came in, the reaction he got was was great because it he was different to to Danny. It was different to Carlos, and you just get a buzz and it gives you a lift. Um, you've got to impress the new manager and blah de blah. But yeah, I think it is a, definitely a thing. You do get a reaction when a new manager comes in. Yeah, you've got to impress him. Or you're not going to play. He's not. <laughs> doesn't matter who you are. If you don't impress and you don't run around and try your hardest, you're not going to play. It doesn't matter whether he's, he was a coach like last year, this year, stepped in the interim manager. It doesn't matter. You, you've got to impress him. If not, he, he's not stupid and he's not going to play you. I mean, you've been in this building longer than a lot of people, maybe David <laughs> excluded, but, um, <laughs> you know, you've seen managers come and go over the years. Um, is this the most important appointment now, do you think? During your time at the club, you know what I think the 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 so important the club gets the right manager, the right coach, because if not, it can it can go sour real quick. And um, I think Nasi's coming in. I don't know. If, I don't. No one knows how long he's going to be. He could be here for ten years. Who knows? You know what I mean. So it's game by game. Get the points on the board. You'll stay. If you don't, you. It's, that's football. It's one of them things. You won't be here for long. Get points on the board, you could be here for 10 years. I suppose it's just the situation you find yourselves in now. Um, it's going to be a big appointment, isn't it? Whoever comes in, whether it's Narciss or whoever. Yeah, it's they're, they're all important. Like you said, they can, if you get a manager who's got the fans on side, got the players on side, um, all pulling in that same direction, it's it doesn't matter how good your players are. If you've got that group of players who plays for the manager, the fans are on side, it's, it's a powerful tool to have. Good luck, mate. Finally, James, Nursey, good morning. Got anything to add, mate? Good morning. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, David. Uh, yeah, just just one, really. Um, you reflected earlier how uh, football can be crazy at times. I just wonder, is there anything a bit unique about the championship, in your opinion, Jonathan? Because, I mean, Colo Toro lasted just a couple of months at Wigan, didn't he? It, it's absolutely brutal, down, particularly down the bottom. I just wanted to get your reflections on that, if possible, please. Well, it just shows you, doesn't it, what Colo had done in the game. Um come and be a manager, don't get the results. That's what happens. You don't last long. And um, it's it's a, it's a vicious game. You don't get a lot of time if, if the results aren't, aren't there. It's important to, there's a lot of people involved. It's not just the players and the fans and people like that. People work behind the scenes tirelessly to to make sure they keep the jobs. If we go down, who, who knows what's happened? So it's, it's not just the players we're fighting for, our contracts and so on. It's the players in the background, the cooks, the cleaners and all people like that. It affects their life. So we know that we're not just playing for us. We're playing for hundreds of people, really. Thousands of the fans. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you.